Well, hello again and welcome to session number six here at Lee Valley Velo Park as we head into the real business end of the cycling track and para track program here at Birmingham 2022. But we plough on into the early evening, late afternoon, early evening session here. Australians on track. This is Bo Wooten up against Luke Zachariah. Alex Pate Pope, sorry, and Stefan Lloyd. Obviously would have wanted to be in the, the gold medal match, but uh, going to have to battle it out with the Welsh for the bronze. Best of three, this is the first. Bronze medal at the end of it, and they are looking very strong. The Welsh not able to get up to the back wheel of the Australians. So Luke Zachariah steering Bo Wooten through to get the first win in the best of three. So good result, Bo Wooten and... Luke Zachariah one up in their race for the bronze medal. If they get to the line first this time, it is a bronze for the Australians. Very high on the track. Alex Pope, along with Stephen Lloyd from Wales. They'll be the first to hear the bell. One lap to go, and here come the Australians. Very fast into this final lap. Side by side, round the bend, down the straight. A bit of extra elevation, downhill run all the way into the final bend. And it's going to be a comfortable victory for them. Two straight. And that takes them through onto the podium. Bronze medal for Australia. Great performance by Bo Wooten and piloted very handily by Luke Zachariah. Medal here in the tandem. Fantastic performance from the Aussies. endurance side of track cycling 25 kilometers of points racing and we're very fortunate to have a two-time the only two-time commonwealth games points race champion kate bates to help talk us through it three australians baker moran and ploof this at commonwealth games level it's the only major event points race that she has won which is quite incredible 26 gold medals across the olympics world championships and european championships none of those in the points race, but she has won this in 2014 at the Glasgow Commonwealth Games. So every 10 laps, there is a sprint for points, five, three, two, and one. Double points on the final sprint. So, so much can change if it's close, coming down to that final sprint, 10, six, four, and two. If you take a lap on the field, you'll get 20 points added to your total. So a little bit to go on, a little bit to think about. But lots of opportunities, and this is the hardest race on the track. Make no mistake, the points race is brutal. The Aussies, Georgia Baker, Chloe Moran, Maeve Plouffe yet to score. It's not panic stations yet, but this is really, really dangerous. Third sprint down, and Georgia Baker finally onto the points for one of the Australians onto the leaderboard and they are about to get to the back of the peloton as well so the lap has been gained by that group they get 20 points added to their total and Baker from no points goes to the outright lead fantastic riding by Georgia Baker and Chloe Moran to take a lap on the field look as if that's going to be the case. So Georgia Baker with another five points. That's a great result for Australia. She extends her overall lead, goes to 40 now. Only two sprints left. She just needs to pick up a few points here to make sure that she's more than 10 points in front coming into that final sprint. Evans, the pocket rocket, she's really powerful, but Georgia Baker is faster. She gets to the line, five points. That'll take her to 45. And now on pure sprint points, she is unreachable. 
points on this final sprint. 10, 6, 4 and 2. And it's Mia Evans that wants the 10 points. She wants the silver medal. Baker gets onto her wheel. And she'll follow her down the back straight. The victory is going to Australia. Regardless of the result here, Georgia Baker is going to win the gold medal in the women's points race. Mia Evans is doing enough to claim silver. And Baker goes out on top by winning the double points at the end as well. Fantastic performance from her. Completely dominating. 55 points at the top. Long time coming for G. This is a big one for her team's victories on the first night in the team pursuit. But an individual gold at this level of competition, that's what she's been hunting for as well. Well, the last Australian to win the women's points race was Amy Cure. So the Tassies, Tasmanians well represented. Put them back out, try and settle the score, even it up, and then take it to a decider. And the race for gold, the fastest qualifier, the world record holder, from Trinidad and Tobago. Nicholas Paul up against the pocket rocket from Western Australia, mighty Matthew Richardson. To go and you can see the urgency from the man from Trinidad and Tobago. And Richardson dives underneath. He claims the front position. One lap to go, and this looks fantastic for the Australian. Richardson down the back straight, but the speed of Paul is extraordinary. Comes up to the back wheel, trying to come around the outside, and he's not going to get there. Richardson goes one up in the race for gold. Australia's won 15 of the 20 gold medals in Commonwealth Games history. We've dominated three quarters. That's quite a reputation that these lads want to uphold. And here we go. Nicholas Paul is starting to come at Richardson. Can he hold him off? One lap to go. One big effort from the Western Australian if he wants gold. He's already got one hand on the medal. And Paul is struggling in second position. Into the final bend. And Matthew Richardson is going to ride to gold in Birmingham. He wins the men's sprint competition. Somewhat of a come from behind victory for him. He did it the hard way. He had some really tough rides through the rounds, but he came through to win gold. What a fantastic performance from Richardson. This is the race for the bronze medal in the men's sprints. And it's Jack Carlin, you can see on screen now from Scotland. He was a medalist here four years ago, the Common Games, medalist at the Olympic Games as well. And the guy that's going to try and stop him from getting a medal this time is Matthew Glatzer. Best of three competition. They've had so many races now. Third night of competition, team sprint. Kieran's now all the rounds of the sprint. Slightly in front, weaving up and down the track all over the place. Carlin into the slipstream. Now coming to the back wheel of Matthew Glatzer. What have they got left after three days of big competition? Carlin seems to have a little bit more than Glatzer as he gets to the line first with all the work to do. He must win this race to take it to a decider. This is do or die for the Big South Australian. He must get around this time in front of Carlin to take it to a decider. Down the back straight. We saw this in the last one. Carlin's coming. Here he comes up around the outside. Ken Glatzer hold him off this time. Into the final straight. It's going to be close. And Glatzer does get there for the win. Jack Carlin, a pocket rocket. Matthew Glaser towers over him. His teammate Matthew Richardson will stand on the top step of the podium. Come behind, come from behind win for Richardson to win gold. Now Matthew Glaser wants to get up there as well. He wants some redemption. He wants something after that crash for all of the effort. And Glaser has gone up around the outside of Carlin. What a comeback for him. The big man from South Australia has blown the Scotsman off the boards. Glaser gets gold. He'll stand on the podium alongside his mate Matthew Richardson. What a great ride. He showed the character. Well done, Lynn. Great coaching. Judges checking it out, but this was a clean ride. I paid attention. I don't think that they're going to find anything on review. What they're looking at is when Glatzer came past, he just squeezed a little bit. You can see whether it was a clean pass. You're not allowed to come down in on top of the rider, and it's clean. That's all fine. There won't be any issues with that whatsoever. This is a better angle, though. So Carlin did come up. If anything, Carlin would be relegated. The only issue there is that Carlin impeded Matthew Glatzer, not the other way around. If they think anything different to that, 
then you can push me over because I wouldn't understand the sport at all. Yes, it did take a long time to make the decision. It hasn't fallen in the favour of Australia. But Australia, Matthew Richardson. For one Australian, it's celebration. For another, Matthew Glatzer, it's devastation. And he's watching on from the sidelines. He'll be happy for his teammate, Matthew Richardson. We saw the emotions that Matt had after the line. Somewhat disbelief that he was able to get the better of the world record holder. You can believe it, Richo. You're on the top. You are a gold medalist here. Second gold medal for him after winning the team sprint on the first night. Brilliant performance for the Western Australian. He is an absolute superstar of for sprinting. Blades at Kate. It's been a controversial night. It's been the roller coaster of emotions for the Australian sprint team after the comeback yesterday from the Kieran Fall. And do Sophie Capewell from England. Guaranteed a medal. She sits in second place. Rebecca Petch from New Zealand. She'll be nervous as well. She's holding down bronze, depending now on what Christina can do. 32.911 is her personal best. That would take her the gold medal, a games record. And the only rider to have gone that fast in this event. And bursting out of the start gate now, Christina Clonan. She has gone faster than the time required to win gold here tonight. Kelsey Mitchell, the Canadian, she's nervously watching on. First time split, and she's up by 0.2 of a second. Clonan is absolutely flying. A fantastic start from her. Second time split. Oh, it's come back a little bit. 0.154 now. She has to try and hold on. She's racing against the Olympic champion. It's come down even more now. Final bend for Clonan. Come on, get to the line. And it's a gold yeah! medal. It's a Commonwealth Games record. And Christina Clonan holds on by the narrowest of margins, and it's another gold medal for Australia. Ah, Christina Clone, a new beauty, the Sunshine Coast will be celebrating tonight. Christina Clone. From Brisbane, and she's been around with the track endurance and then back to the sprint, and she's developed into an absolute superstar. She had to break Commonwealth Games record that Kelsey Mitchell had set to get the gold. And she went out super fast. The first half lap split, she was fair way up, and then every split the rest of the way around, it got narrower and narrower and narrower until it was 0.06 0 .0 in front. It's a big one for Christina. Well, I think the Sunshine Coast will be partying hard tonight. And Truman, Joe Truman, oh, was a nasty one for the Englishman. He's out of the competition after that. And look at the damage that was done. The men's scratch race coming out onto the track, so the decision's still pending on whether Matthew Glatzer has the bronze medal or not. And this is the scratch race final. 15 kilometres for the men, three Australians out there. Graham Frisley, Josh Duffy and James Moriarty. 36 laps to go now. We've had some attacks in the men's scratch race, but nothing getting more than maybe 30 metres or so off the front. A little bit hesitant. Riders not wanting to go too deep too soon and waste too much energy. And you have the combination of riders that can only win by attacking and getting away. But there are a lot of quick guys out here as well. They're trying to keep it together so they can try and win the sprint. Josh Duffy is the kind of rider that can win in a sprint at the very end if it's all together. But the Aussies will definitely be working together. Georgia Baker, when she won her gold medal in the points race earlier in the night, after which she thanked her teammates Chloe Moran and Maeve Plouffe for their incredible support out there on the track. It's starting to think about who's still in front and who has teammates that can assist the riders that he's racing against, but it looks as if it's going to be too late, too little. Uh, they are going to get a lap on the field, so the medals will definitely go to these three riders with nine laps to go. In racing for the gold medal, one lap to go, and it's Corbin Strong in third position. The highest place of the riders that have taken a lap on the field. Corbin Strong just has to now hold on. Roberts trying to come around the outside, though. Roberts might get there first. And it does look like Roberts. Was it Roberts or was it Corbin Strong? No, it was Corbin Strong that did get there. Roberts was a little bit further back. Corbin Strong, true to his name, comes away with the gold medal. Let's just wait for confirmation. We're looking at both. They're both celebrating. Roberts came with a flash. 